Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So, I am in Horseshoe Overlook, uh, heading over to Siankel, because I think he wants to go to Valentine, which is where I want to go to. Because I need to go and check to see if the guns and whatnot from the PC update is uh, are available. Where is Uncle? He is... Ah, there he is. Lazy bastard. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Careful not, not to work yourself to death, death there, there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay, does it pay well? well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. If you gonna take the old man into town, can you take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment. Civilization. You ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. The raid. I'm almost there. Now, the chances are I'm going to get into that gun shop and none of the stuff I want is going to be on sale. Alright. <coughs> I am not helping this guy. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got one bag of it's very serious. Well, I got serious case of I don't care. <laughs> Lumbago. You, Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? A fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Well, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Fine. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Why is the carriage going so slow? Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. You got a problem there? All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. 
Or, you know, killed. Don't get killed. Words to live by. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. Well, that's a pretty comprehensive list, I guess, of parasites. Uh, is a rat with a plague parasite? Who knows? Pick out a cigar. A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What do you say? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Alright, where's the uh Okay, no, never mind, I got brandy. I got drink. I got hard liquor. Sir, <laughs> it's a funny world. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Ken? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They haven't been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You're excused, Arthur Morgan. Okay, let's go save Tilly. Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Okay. And on to... Um... I don't know what to call these people. I've... Yeah. I had a little bit there. And I failed horribly. I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Sir? Do you have insurance? No. Too bad. No trouble now, please. I'm getting what I paid for. <laughs> hey, hey you. a friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I pay. They pay to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? 
Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Just, just man. But stupid bastard. bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being safe, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from them. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No, no. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. All right, time to have a word. Hey, buddy, you can stop running away. I just want to have a word. There's no trouble, I just want a word. Sort of, you know, an, an alignment with the good side, whatever that's called. The heroic side, I guess. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us. If we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I kill people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I have it. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Well, he's absolutely terrified, and for good reason. Uh, nope. Don't, didn't want that. Okay, what's up here? Javier Escuela. Okay, I need to go to the gunsmith. I'm a man of my word. Okay, gunsmith. 
hopefully passing by the saloon will not activate that mission just yet because I co I want to do like a um, I want to well I want to check the gunsmith and I might do a bounty to get some extra moolah. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. New marksman in town. Well, well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Now let me just look in here. Okay, so there's the Cattleman double action, Schofield fuck. Uh, what? Oh, wait. That's new, I think. Evans repeater. So where is the Lamat revolver? Ah. Okay, let me go back. Pump action. Right. No. No. Yeah, well, I know that is. That's new. Okay. So that's good. Mauser, semi automatic. Uh. Could go for some poker. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfields. Well, that's annoying. Okay, let's go and. Uh, well, I know the Ev the Evans rifle is there, so it might just be. Uh, right. Well, the uh, the Lamat revolver might be available. Uh, in like a different place, maybe. Um, I'm trying to think, like Saint Denis. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, Mister? Maybe. It depends. But well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that, until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than landing rickets without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of... Six satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. I do like the little, uh, little reference to... Cool. Yeah, I do like the little reference to uh, the first re Red Dead. Landon Ricketts. Where is my horse? Uh. Oh, it's back at the bloody... Well, that sucks. Gotta steal a horse now. Come on. Partner. Wait, what? What did I do? Uh, my man, the sheriff witnessed you. Uh. Okay, go out, go to town on foot maybe, and then see if I can steal a horse. Uh, well, hopefully if I respawn in. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. 
Okay, never mind. I thought if I, yeah, restart from checkpoint, it might get the horse back here, but nope, no such luck. Alright, I'll run off and steal the first horse I see. How far do I have to go, though? How far am I? Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's a little bit of a pain, but it's not too bad. Oh, come on. Get off Okay, hopefully those sheriff guys. Whoa! Oh, for come on, really? What? What was it this time? The bounty was spooked by the law. G good lord, this is difficult. Okay, maybe I won't do this now because it seems well, it seems ridiculous. A, I haven't got my horse, which I totally forgot about, and uh, B, every time I go to steal one. I don't know, something happens. Uh, how do I... How do I quit this? Oh wow, that's weird. Yeah, but what if I don't want to do that now? Um, Alright, where's this mission? Alright, do I have to quit? Hang on, hang on. Let me get to the, uh, the, the game over screen again. Mission failed. Now there should be a quit one. Skip checkpoint. Cancel mission, there we go. I'm gonna go and do the Javier Squaler mission. Until I get my horse, and then I might do this one. It's good money. Ish, I think. Mostly good money. Just not worth uh, running all the way there, collecting the guy, and then carrying him all the way back. Uh, yeah, so I'll do the Javier one. God, this game, even now, it's been just over a year since this came out. It looks amazing. Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come on. 
over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest tick mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Uh, well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> All right. Power fight time. What the hell? How many times can a man be elbowed in the ribs before he gives up? Okay, come on big guy. Can't we just talk this over? No? Use your words big guy. Use your words. What the hell? I'm having the shit kicked out of me. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, how many times can I punch this guy before he dies? Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough? What business is it of yours? No business. No business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found, sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And, and Bill, Bill looking, looking as well as, well as can, can be? be? Gentlemen, Gentlemen, 
always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, we step foot in Blackwater. Ah. Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles. Go find, Go find out, out what, what you can, can. Carefully. carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, Arthur. Go get Go yourself get cleaned up. up. Join, Join them when you're ready. ready. Well, what, what about me? Well, well exactly. exactly. What, what about, about you? you? What, what does that, that mean? mean? Up, oh, Bill. Come on. Okay, that was good. Uh, again, I'm still left in this bloody town without a horse. No, wait, my horse is here now? Cool. I'm not complaining. Beats me having to run all the way back to uh, camp. Okay, where's my horse? Then I might be able to do that uh, bounty hunting job. Thank God. Or oh, not. Oh well. Nope. Whoa! Uh-huh. So, yeah, I'm like, what, four episodes into this walkthrough and I'm, I've already got quite a decent bounty, I suppose, ten dollars, for horse theft. That's pretty good. Okay. Reverend Swanson. Okay, let's do. Let's go and see Leopold. Did not mean to do that. Let's go and see Hess Strauss. All right. Yeah. So didn't have. Didn't really have much luck in this episode, in terms of like what I wanted to do. Uh, probably a bit too eager to do the bounty hunting mission. If I, if I had done the Javier Escuela mission and then the bounty one, they would have gone a lot smoother. But yeah, that's uh, something I was I completely forget every time I play the game, that the first mission takes you away from your horse. If anything, I should have done the horse whistle as I... Uh, pulled away from camp, but, uh, oh well. <coughs> that bounty hunting mission does respawn after a while, so nothing really, you know, lost or anything, so. Alright.
What even are the Philippines? Hello, Jack. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here with me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Uh-huh. Okay. Reclaim. Uh, that, uh, do, I, do I have to go now? Yeah, I do. Alright. Uh, I'll go here then. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Okay, that went nowhere. Where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And then just beep, 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 beep. Nope, nothing. All right. Okay, boy. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's go and do this. These are, like, probably my least favourite missions as well, like the Leopold ones. Because it's literally, it's just going into a house, beating the shit out of some guy, who then says, yeah, by all means, search my house. They're not really enthralling, you know. But again, this is, the, you know, we're only in the early stages <coughs> of the uh, game, so... The more interesting stuff is yet to come. God damn it. English? Uh, me, Speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't speak German, neither. I'm here for money. Money. You borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Where is it? No. Okay, let's get this over and done with. What language is he speaking? Things, okay. I have 
Anything in here or out there? Yes. This is very valuable. Good one. Not good yet. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. And I can buy an upgrade for the camp now, possibly. I wonder when you'd roll back in. Yeah, thanks for that, Bill. It's only been, it's only been like, what, like five minutes since you saw me last? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said. Pleasure I'm after. He's more, He's more slippery, slippery than he seems. seems. I've, tried I've tried being polite. Don't, Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Okay, so I'm going to call this episode to an end. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to be doing a uh, mission with Kieran and maybe one with Hosea. Uh, not sure yet. For now, though, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching the episode. Uh, if you could leave a like and a comment, that would help a great deal. It'd be very greatly appreciated. If you haven't uh, done so already, please uh, consider subscribing as well and hitting that bell icon for notifications to be turned on because I pretty much upload daily. So, yeah, if you're interested, hit that bell icon. For now, though, that's it. So until the next episode, you look after yourself, you take care, and have a great day.